Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Microsoft Teams with Microsoft Outlook. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at uh, Microsoft Teams uh, or sign in uh, to the account that you already have. Um, now you'll see that in this workspace you won't be able to create an integration between uh, Teams and Outlook straight away. So we need to uh, get help from automate.io. Uh, once we are at automate.io, we want to go to the top corner and click on integrations. Once this pop-up window show up, we want to go to the bottom left corner of this pop-up window to the see all categories. Now we can uh, search from 200 and more apps, but we want to start with uh, writing down Teams. Once we are here, we want to pick Microsoft Teams. On the opposite side, uh, we want to uh, write down Outlook and pick Microsoft Outlook. Once we picked both of the apps that we want to integrate, we get redirected and as you can see, you can pick from popular integrations. But if you won't be able to find uh, any integration between, uh, you, the, between those two that you need, you just keep scrolling down and you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side underneath the triggers, you want to start with uh, Microsoft Teams. At the moment, there's only one option. On the opposite side underneath the actions, you want to go uh, with uh, Microsoft Outlook. There's a couple of uh, options you can choose from. So let's go with the first one. Last thing you have to do uh, is to click on try it now button on your right side of your screen and basically just to log in uh, to your automate.eo account. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Another app that we can use is Zapier. It works basically uh, very similarly to, Zap uh, to Automate. But we uh, have to also create an account here. And once we do that, let's go to the top left corner and click on make a ZAP. Uh, ZAP stands for integration. We can name our ZAP if you want to come back uh, to this integration or in the future. And uh, now we have to set up a trigger. The trigger is the same uh, as it is at Automate. So it's Microsoft Teams. As you can see, uh, Zapier is providing us with more options at trigger event uh, on Microsoft Teams, uh, not just one. So let's go with a new chat, for example. We press continue and now we have to just sign in to the Microsoft Teams account. Second action is, uh, second action is obviously Microsoft Outlook. So we click on the Microsoft Outlook. There's uh, not that many uh, uh, action events. So let's go with the update the contact, continue. And uh, the last thing is we just have to sign in to Microsoft Outlook. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.